My name is Carson. Welcome back to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we've got another bulletproof hitch unboxing and initial review. We uh, did a bulletproof hitch video a couple years ago. In fact, let's uh, grab one of those. Boom, there you go. Here is our original bulletproof adjustable drop hitch. I believe this is the six, or I think it's the seven inch drop hitch. Um, maybe six. Uh, we have used this extensively with the landscaping business. This is the, I think it's the medium or the heavy duty. It has the full solid shank on it. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. These guys aren't messing around. We've got very secure boxing method, which with hitches is greatly appreciated. I have had several things like this arrive that are heavy. I just don't, don't get to me the way they should be. These things go through abuse, bounce around over thousands of miles across the country. I think bulletproof, I think they're located um, where Cletus McFarland is over by the Freedom Factory, which is pretty cool. I'm sure that, that was not planned or intentional, it's just kind of the way things came to be. This is for my new L5P Duramax truck. So I picked up a 2018 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD, um, and it has the two and a half inch shank on the factory hitch. So I was on a Facebook group and somebody had a two inch shank hitch. It wasn't bulletproof, it was a different brand. Uh, but the trailer came disconnected and they, they it had come disconnected twice and they didn't know if it was the wrong size ball or if the ball was overworn or if the trailer was overworn. Um, but somebody mentioned in the comments that if you have the receiver adapter, sometimes that can cause the trailer to come disconnected, which I think is a little bit crazy, but maybe just some extra vibrations in there. But after watching that video and seeing that as a possibility and seeing some manufacturers post on their websites, uh, advising not to use the receiver tube adapters. Um, I've, I've got a factory receiver tube adapter on my truck. Um, I'm just going to choose not to use it. So we're going to be upgrading my truck from the two inch to the two and a half inch shank. It's heavier duty. Um, so that's what's inside here. We've got um, just like this one, we've got the two inch and two and five sixteenths ball. And we've also got a uh, locking pin. So here we've got locking pins for the ball mount itself. We've got some R clips right here. Another pin. We've got some bulletproof anti-friction grease. It's really nice that they include that with it. We'll keep, we'll keep peeling back the layers here so we can take off this guy. Next up we've got the <laughs> this thing is so heavy. I will say, Bulletproof did a great job on the brand naming and the marketing. Uh, I think there's no better term to describe their products than Bulletproof. Oh my goodness, this, this is so heavy duty, so overbuilt. So here we got the hitch. We got a, another special little goodie over here. We'll get to it at the end. So on this one, I went with a four inch drop hitch instead of the six inch drop. On my truck, the six inch drop hangs down a little bit too low. And, and part of that is we've got this lower ball down here so you can flip it over. And that ball hangs down extra low and the six inch was already a little bit too low for my truck. Remeasured my truck and trailer setup and determined that a four inch drop was gonna work. Um, I've had other hitches where I did the four inch drop and I should have gone with the six inch drop. So kind of some back and forth, but with the new truck, the ride height on that, this is what needed to be. Okay, so as far as assembly goes, there's really not much to it. Man, every time I pick this stuff up, I'm reminded how heavy it is. So I, I guess that'll, that'll bring us to one of our first pros and cons. One of the biggest pros of this hitch is the, the tow rating on this is monstrous. Does it say on here? So this thing is rated at 12,000 pounds on the two inch ball and 22,000 pounds on the two and five sixteenths inch ball. So with the pro, 
of the massive weight capacity. Also comes the con of this thing weighs a lot. Uh, quickly scanning through their information guide here, which is phenomenal. This is this is a uh, you know great resource. Lots of good information in here. I, I will probably go through and hit up some of the highlights on this, but definitely be sure and check out this. And I was going through here. It said something about save your box if you transport this. Keep the box so you can put it in there and transport it. In that's the safest way. It's not going to beat up really. Really, it's not going to beat up this. This is going to beat up whatever's around it. So again, one of the pros, weight carrying capacity. One of the cons is the actual physical weight of this product. Really nice. I believe stainless steel pins. Really simple, easy to use design. Um, we own a landscape business and we have employees and sometimes there's a revolving door of employees. There's a little bit of a learning curve. Having a product like this that's just two pins, there, there's nothing complicated about this. Um, super great setup for employees to not have to, to fiddle with uh, keys and, and other things that, uh, you know, different mechanisms and pins and, and all sorts that I've seen some crazy stuff. This is just bare bones, basic, get it done and get it done well. Okay, next up we've got the hitch pin lock. So when you're spending over $250, $350 on a hitch, it's a good idea to secure it and it doesn't just walk away. Um, you know, these pins, I believe you can get locking pins for them as well. If you're concerned about that, I'm not as concerned with that because for someone to walk away with this, they would also have to have this hitch. And so there, there's a cost investment with that and it's pretty much worthless without that. Corrosion resistant stainless steel. Nice, I don't know what you call it, fluted ends. It's got these nice little grab handles. Same as what's on here. Um, same as what's on here, same design. As you can see, it's held up fine on this older one. Uh, no issues there. We've got two keys that come with this. So we put our key in. Run it through our hitch. Go ahead and put it back on. We've got a little rubber cap to cover it. Now, one thing with these locks. Uh, these are a maintenance item. Uh, these are clips. You can run them through salt and all sorts of corrosion and crap, and, and they hold up really well. These things need to be serviced occasionally to make sure the keys go in easily, to make sure the components turn easily, and that these don't lock up. Uh, it's very common. My brother bought a truck that had the hitch pin stuck in there, and he had to grind it off or cut it off or whatever he had to do. It was a pain in the butt. So any locks, you know, make sure you stay on top of that, service that, check on it once a month, service it every couple months, every quarter, and uh, you won't have any issues. Okay, so this locking pin is a 5 8 inch locking pin, and it has a 3 and 7 8 inch span with locking pin suitable for 2, 2 and a half, and 3 inch shanks. Okay, so we're going to do our information guide first, or get to our little extra treat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to postpone this. Let's get this other part. Heart. Not as heavy. Any guesses what this is? You know, with the landscaping business, we don't have one of these yet. And I have a feeling one of these days, we might just get to the point that we have one. And so this is a really nice option. Get the bolt for pitches. And uh, might get a dump trick one of these days. And having the ability to put a pintle on here is awesome. So this just sets right on this other pin, and then we've got this top pin it goes on top. Your lieutenant ring, lunette, whatever it's called, goes through here. This locks it into place. Boom, you're ready to go. How cool is that? I, I think that they've got a couple of different accessories. Uh, a lot has changed in the last couple of years since I got the original bulletproof, but really cool features. We've got a uh, pintle mount for use with 2 and 5 16 inch ball only. And uh, one thing I noticed on these new ones versus the old ones is the way these balls are labeled. So I don't think this hitch has it. This one's pretty abused. This one's drug on the ground. This one's pretty dirty. Try to clean this off. I can't see it. 
You'll have to go back and watch my initial video on this or check out some other hitch review videos on these older ones. But these newer ones come with the balls labeled there. So on the top there, nicely stamped in there, is two and five sixteenths. And on the bottom, we've got the same. Oh, my top. Well, I guess we're we're test we're doing a drop test on this. That really hurt. Okay, we <laughs> we chipped off some of the edge of the powder coat here. Um, not a huge deal. Not a, my toes probably hurting worse than this guy. Okay, where are we at? Okay, we got our two inch stamped right there. Okay, so let's talk about durability on these. Again, these are bulletproof. I wouldn't hesitate going way above and beyond their toe ratings on this. These things are just grossly overbuilt. <laughs> There's nothing else you can say about it. Um, they have this black texturized powder coat and really solid heavy duty welds. But as you can see here, we do have some rust forming. We do have some flaking and chipping. We've lost our, um, our protection on the ball surfaces. Really, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I haven't had any issues because of it. I don't feel like it's deteriorated the, the quality or the um, performance whatsoever, but it is a little bit unsightly. It's not as pretty looking. Um, but again, I, I, I would not go with this hitch for um, simply the looks. I go with this hitch because it's A, simple, Again, for my employees, it's, it, it's hard to mess up this hitch. And I did mess up this hitch when I first got it, so I'll kind of expand on that. And B, um, it, it's just, I'm not gonna overload it, basically. I, none of my trailers I'm hooking up are gonna overload this. So, when I initially picked up this hitch, uh, we went out and picked up the full drive Toyota Tercel, the 1983 we've got on this channel, as well as on the Toyota Fixation channel and we towed it back and I believe it was a two inch ball trailer. And so we hooked up the two inch ball, so we flipped this over and when I flipped it over, I mispinned it and I pinned the top in and missed the pin on the bottom. So I think I went one rung too, too low, I just wasn't paying attention, threw it in. And so that this ball mount, it was essentially riding like that the whole way down the road. Um, every time we'd start it, kind of pull the pull away and then slap back and forth. So I, I, I was like, well, it's kind of a noisy hitch. Well, come to find out that was user error. Um, highly not recommended. <laughs> Can, you know, this product is not rated for one pin to be in there. Totally no issues. Again, this thing is super overbuilt. Um, but that is a potential for screw up because there is two pins and, uh, you know, is there any extra slop or wear in these pins because of that? No, these things look brand new, like the day they came to me. So, bulletproof hitch, perfect definition of what we got here. Um, let's get to the product guide. We've got a thank you section. Do not throw away your box. Our order information, uh, parts list, installation and user guide, uh, two inch hitch with a two inch receiver, three, two and a half inch, three inch, do not use a two inch hitch and a two and a half inch receiver unless the correct reducer sleeve is used. I think the keyword there would be correct. Um, again, I, I've seen these fail if you don't if you use a reducer sleeve. So I think more and more of these drop hitch manufacturers are going to start saying um, not to do that, and and they're saying it's okay, but it has to be the correct one. So that's uh, up to your discretion. User guide: use the right size ball for your trailer. Here we've got our ratings. Again, they are rated to the moon. Just you know, extremely high ratings. Um, some of the, the highest ratings of any drop hitch manufacturers. Maintenance, 
We've got the bulletproof grease. Optionally apply additional grease to the inside of your coupler. So it is saying to grease your ball, and that's something we didn't do, and that also was probably what led to losing the powder coat on our ball. We got frequently asked questions. Why do I need a bulletproof hitch? Do you test the hitches? Can I use my hitch in the rise position? Can I lock my bulletproof hitch? Are your hitches compatible with rock tamers? What attachments can I add to my bulletproof hitch? Are bulletproof hitches compatible with weight distribution systems? We've got a section about exchanges. So it looks like they do allow you to swap this out if this is not the right fit for you to find the right product. We got return section there. Uh, again, really awesome for them to, to give you this information about their product. Really resolve a lot of questions. Here's our warranty section. We've got the get features section. Social media. Here's all our accessories. So some of the stuff you're not going to find on their website. I mean, you might, but you're going to be digging a lot. So this is all given to you right here. Customer support. Give them a review. Bulletproof hitches. Boom. Well, I think it's going to be a wrap on this video. Um, if you liked it, if you like the channel, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a question, comment down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Re-resin. We've got. Same. Oh, my God.